Have you ever wondered about the destructive power of an atom bomb? Let's delve into the world of nuclear science and explore this awe-inspiring yet terrifying concept. Atom bombs or nuclear bombs harness the immense power locked within the tiniest particles of matter. This energy is released through nuclear fission where heavy atomic nuclei split into smaller, lighter nuclei or nuclear fusion, where light atomic nuclei combine into heavier ones. Both processes release a staggering amount of energy, but it's nuclear fusion that powers the sun and the most potent atom bombs. Now, imagine the most powerful atom bomb ever detonated. This was the Tsar Bomba, unleashed by the Soviet Union in the height of the Cold War. The Tsar Bomba had an estimated yield of 50 megatons, equivalent to 50 million tons of TNT. It was more than 3,000 times the power of the bomb dropped on Hiroshima. That's a mind-boggling amount of destructive power in one single explosion, isn't it? So, how many of these atom bombs would it take to obliterate our planet entirely? Well, let's delve into the calculations and theories. According to the Stockholm International Peace Research Institute, as of 2020, there were around 13,400 nuclear weapons in the world. Yet even this number wouldn't be sufficient to physically destroy Earth. But what about the concept of nuclear winter? This refers to the severe and prolonged global climatic cooling effect that's hypothesized to occur after widespread firestorms following a nuclear war. The soot, smoke, and debris launched into the atmosphere could block out sunlight, leading to a drastic drop in temperature worldwide. This could lead to mass extinction events due to the collapse of ecosystems. However, it's important to note that these are all theoretical scenarios. The exact number of nuclear weapons required to induce such a catastrophic event is still up for debate among scientists. It's a chilling thought, the sheer destructive power we've harnessed. But what would be the aftermath of such a global catastrophe? Let's delve into this dark scenario. The detonation of a large number of nuclear weapons would result in a phenomenon known as nuclear fallout. This is the residual radioactive material propelled into the upper atmosphere following a nuclear blast. It would descend to Earth, causing widespread contamination and radiation sickness. But it doesn't end there. The resulting nuclear winter, a severe and prolonged global climatic cooling effect, could lead to crop failures and famine. This could potentially cause the extinction of many species, including us, humans. This is a grim reality that underscores the urgent need for nuclear disarmament. International bodies have a crucial role to play in this effort. They must enforce treaties and regulations that discourage the use and proliferation of these devastating weapons. In the end, it's a question of survival, not just for us, but for our planet too. Remember, knowledge is power and understanding the true destructive potential of nuclear weapons is a step towards a safer world. 